Yes. So let us come back to 2009 paper now. We have already done the 2010 paper. So in 2009 paper, let us see the question given to us. So what do they give? They've given this thionyl chloride, very famous uh, the thionyl chloride. We have been doing so many questions on thionyl chloride. So the basic thing, as soon as you see this thionyl chloride, remember, nothing to do with the reaction, simple. As soon as you see thionyl chloride, two important things which you have to see. Thionyl chloride is going after the product formation, you will be getting or it gets decomposed to sulfur dioxide gas. Simple. And after that, now thionyl chloride is carrying chlorine, the two chlorides, correct? Yes. Now, this thionyl chloride, let me write like this Cl and Cl for you. Okay, easy. Now, this particular OH, yeah, so SO2 has come out. Done. So, what else do you have? Your H and Cl comes out as HCl vapors. Remember, both are in vapor state. Now, what else is done? Sulfur dioxide is done. HCl is done. Now, this new chlorine is going to come and occupy this. See, that's it. Cyclo compounds, cyclohexanol. So, simple. As soon as you see thionyl chloride, write do these two. Both are vapor, uh, vapor state. Sulfur dioxide also vapor. HCl also vapor. So, once you take out the leftover nucleophile, Cl is going to replace this and you get this. Let us come back and see this. Simple, the basic reaction. Here, if you have uh, some other uh, ether or HB or HA, then problem. The basic reaction. Minus H2O and Cl will come in. So, I've already written this, this here. Nothing. Removal of H uh, water in addition of or replacement of this nucleophile with this nucleophile. We get that benzyl. So, this is a basic reaction. Please note that.